Hey everyone, this is Michelle with Foxy Chick Designs and Magnolia Design Company. How is everyone tonight? I'm just gonna wait here a few minutes for a few people to hop on and to get um, things shared in a couple places as you are coming in, if you will say hello. Hey Betty, welcome. Oh, there we go. I was like, what in the world? Couldn't figure out what the issue was here. Welcome, welcome. We're going to get started here in just a minute. Just waiting for a few people to hop on. We're getting a few people in. I'm going to go ahead and tag the website for um, my Magnolia page. So if you wanted to check that out, you will know where to go. Hey, Roxy, welcome. the website. I'm also going to put the um, link to my Etsy shop for you guys to have access to as well. Oh my word. All right. So there's all of that. All right, welcome, welcome. We are going to get started here. And I had a couple people ask um, for another Valentine project. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that tonight. Um, I was kind of moving on um, from, from doing Valentine just because Valentine's Day is this coming Sunday but since I got asked to do another one I will oblige um, so the stencil that we're going to use tonight oh excuse me y'all I am so sorry um, the stencil that we're going to use tonight is our XOXO y'all and I got this surface from the Dollar Tree and we're going to kind of refab, not refab, refurbish, reuse. Um, sorry, I was just watching my friend Brooke on refab, so that's kind of the thought that came to my head. But we're not gonna refab it, we're gonna just, um, we're gonna use the surface and we're gonna repurpose, that's the word I want, we're gonna repurpose it. And um, I have a little spatula tool here. Um, hold on. <coughs> Must sneeze. Y'all, I am so sorry. 
I am having an issue with sneezing, allergies, not quite sure what the deal is. But I've been having serious allergy issues as of late. So I will apologize now for sneezing, coughing. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. Hey, Deb, welcome. Um, I will just apologize now for all of that. Um, hopefully we can make it through this live and just have some fun together. Um, so what I did is I had this little spatula and I went in underneath the, um, the wire piece that was on here and I popped that off and this is what is left. Um, so this little love metal piece, I'm going to put aside to use on another project. Um, it's kind of flimsy, but it's kind of really cool, but I'm not, I'm not planning to use that tonight. Um, so we are going to set that aside for another project. So before we get started, um, if this is your first time catching Foxy Chick Designs live, if you will comment with a number one, if you've seen my face before and you've joined us before, if you would comment with it, number two, this is just so I can see who our newbies are. Um, also, if you see a little red live button here in the corner, if you will comment live, yep. if you don't see that live, if you would comment hashtag replay, um, this is just another way that I can see how, um, people are joining us. Um, so that being said, we are going to get started here. Um, we're going to go ahead and paint this heart. Um, the hmm, can't think tonight. The paint that we are going to use is some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And then when we use our stencil and the chalk paste that we're going to be using is we're going to be using red and white. And I'm going to do a marbling um, technique for our cute little stencil tonight. Um, if you would not mind, there is a little button, I believe, right down here that has an S word on it. If you wouldn't mind doing that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, that just helps out our page here on Facebook. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip you guys down so that you guys can see what we're going to work on tonight. All right. So flip you upside down. There we go. And so now you can see my cute little desk. All right, so we already popped off the little love sign that um, came on here. And for those of you that are just popping on, um, this little love piece was glued right here um, on this heart from the Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and used my little spatula and just went in underneath and popped that off. And I'm gonna save this for another project I don't know if on Thursday night I'm going to do another um, Valentine project or not to finish out the week or if we're going to move on. Um, that is to be determined. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off this hanger, but I'm going to keep this hanger because I am going to use it again. Um, I like the board. Thank you. Um, got this at the Dollar Tree. I, you all have turned me on to the Dollar Tree, Deb Clark. Um, between you and Jen and a few other people, um, my friend Brooke from Refab, she does a lot with Dollar Tree stuff. I would have never thought in a million years to take a board like this from Dollar Tree and repurpose it. Never would have thought of it. And now, like, I should own stock in Dollar Tree because I feel like I am there often. More than what I probably should be. Um, <laughs> I try not to go so much anymore, but that usually doesn't 
keep me from going. Um, okay. So I'm going to grab one of my little paint brushes here that I got from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, you will hear me say either Magnolia or Dollar Tree more times than I probably should in any given live. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shake up my paint and we are going to go ahead and get this all painted up here. And I'm just going to go in and take off some of the paint from there. And we're just going to go ahead and get this painted up. Exactly. <laughs> that is very much the case. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this down and I'm going to try really hard not to make a mess here. There we go. All right. My hubby just got home from work, so I kind of like expect him, expect to hear him back here pretty soon. All right. So we're just getting this all nice and painted up. Yes, Deb, I will agree with that. I'm, I'm learning to do quite a bit with Dollar Tree surfaces. I really am. The two places that I probably get in the most trouble at are the Dollar Tree. And I literally have a Menards... Oh, yes. Um, uh, okay, I've got a little piece here that I need to peel off. Sorry about that, y'all. And now we'll paint that down. Um, I have a Menards within walking distance, and so I can get... And our Menards has... Um, a, like a scrap wood pile and yeah, that gets me in some serious trouble there. All right. And you can still see the lines through it a little bit and that is totally fine with me. Um, because that just adds some texture and dimension to it. Lily, what's the matter? My Shih Tzu is in here and she's whining because she hears my husband. All right. I think we have this all good to go. I'm trying, not, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it. But I can see that's not going to be the case. All right. Babe, Lily's whining for you. Who? Lily. Oh. All right. The, the, uh, stuff in the washer wasn't washed today, was it? No. Stuck my finger in wet paint. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close up my paint container because I am good for 
spilling stuff. Hey, Missy, welcome. And I'll set that aside. I'm going to grab a wipe just so I can wipe my fingers off so that I'm not transferring any of this paint to any other part of the project. a clean crafter by any stretch of the word. You will see many, 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 many messes before the end of the night. Uh, I need to clean up my desk. Yeah, that was real smart there. <laughs> and then I make more messes. Okay, you know what? I'll deal with that later. Um, oh, Deb, that's so sad. I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but are they okay? out my heat tool here so I can get this all dried up. So that we can move on. Oh good, I'm glad he's fine. I'm glad it, neither one of my puppies have dealt with anything like that. Um, I know my one, um, I know my one deals with some allergies and stuff, but, and it makes me crazy. Hey, Bridget, welcome. Thanks for popping on. Move stencil. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now I get it. I know. I'm like, oh, that would that would make me absolutely crazy if one of my babies had something like that. Deb Clark's little Chihuahua had a seizure a little bit ago. Yeah. All right. Now we are all, we are all good here. I'm going to let this come back down to room temperature. This one has about one every two months. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's so sad. All right. Last about 10 minutes. Oh, that's got to be terrifying for you. All right. While this is coming back down to room temperature, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my desk here a little bit. Just so I can get this off my desk. And then I'll go back later with... Any of you crafters have a good mat that you put on your desk to keep your desk from getting all nasty? I'm always you have three rescues okay I have two. Oh, three rescues and a cat <laughs> wow you got your hands full I have I have two rescues three I have three rescues who's Pepe, the third Pepe, Lily, and me. oh my husband says I have three rescues Peppy Lily and him Okay. 
Okay. All right, so now we are done with the painting and it's all dry. So now I am going to grab. No, oh, here it is. I was wanting to find. I use the paper that comes in. Oh, I didn't think about that. Wow, I'm batting a thousand, y'all. Okay. So I'm pulling out our tacky towel, and on one side it is um, kind of fuzzy, and this is what we use to lint up our stencils, and on the other side is like a microfiber side for when you're cleaning off um, a board or cleaning off your stencils, um, but they're so soft. I love it, um, but I'm pulling out our tacky towel because I'm going to be using our... Why are you Why are you tearing me up? The XOXO, y'all. And it's a new, it's a brand new stencil. Lily. <sighs> Welcome to life, y'all. <laughs> She's entertaining herself. Yeah, and I'm live. <laughs> so. No, stop. Stop. Sorry, y'all. We've got... In the craft space, we've got the hubby, we have the Shih Tzu, and then all of us. Hi, Sue. Welcome. You want to stay and play? Well, if you guys want to stay and play, stay and play. Well, I don't want to stay and play. I was like, it's... <laughs> We're just going to enjoy this. She's going to play by herself. Come on. What she does is she totally... Come on. You know does this little circle thing and she chases her tail and she barks and that's what you guys were just hearing and when she gets all wild up it's like forget it the my, the ink mats is that what you're talking about i i was using my ink mat for a while but then when i would go to heat um use my heat tool i was afraid i was going to ruin my my ink mat and i didn't want to do that so i'm like i stopped using that okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my marker and I'm going to write on the back XOXO you all, y'all. And the reason I'm marking on the back is our stencils are silk screened, self adhesive, reusable stencils, and they can be used over and over and over again, um, between eight to 10 times. So you want to keep the back and this way, you know, which side not to put it on um, because there's a shiny side which I don't know if you guys can see that real well and then there's more of a dull side and the dull side is the back the shiny side is the side you want to replace your stencil onto when you're done with it and you clean it all off with some warm water just some warm water and one of our stencil cleaners and your stencil is as good as new um, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the back here, X, O, X, O, y'all. And that way, um, I know which side to put my stencil back on. And also if I'm doing a, an event of some sort and there's a bunch of stencils that have been taken off of backer sheets, then I know which backer sheet goes with which stencil. So I'm going to go ahead and because this is brand new, all you do to take it off the backer sheet is just start here in the middle and just work your way down. And I'm going to go ahead and I always start from the middle. I don't ever want to pull from the corners because you can stretch your stencils and that can ruin them. So I'm going to just work from the middle here and I'm going to roll it down, pulling the backer sheet away from it. I'm going to set the backer sheet just off to the side here. And I'm going to take our stencil, and I don't know if you can hear that, but do you hear how sticky that is? That is really, really sticky for a new stencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay it down here on my tacky towel, and I'm gonna get some lint on here, just to take some of the stick off, so that when I lay it down on my painted heart, one, it doesn't stick to where it pulls up the paint, and two, this way it I don't have to pull real hard when I pull up my stencil when I'm all done so we're just going to do this a couple times just to get some lint 
some fuzz on here. I just want to take off some of the some of the stick. All right, I think I think we're good here. So now I'm gonna just fuzz up my or fold up my tacky towel and just sit it off to the side. And then I'm going to lay down um, my. Uh, let's see. Yep. I'm gonna just lay this down, and I'm gonna kind of offset it a little bit, just for the fun of it. And I'm just gonna smooth down the silk screened areas, making sure that there are no bubbles. All right, so now we have our stencil all down. And so now I'm gonna start opening my chalk paste. Um, we're gonna be using some red and some of our bright white. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take one of our little stir sticks and I'm gonna get in here and get this all nice and stirred up. I like my um, chalk paste to the be cons to be the consistency of frosting in a can. So if it's not quite like that, what I can do is I'm gonna grab some distilled water. Hi Connie, welcome. Grab just a little bit of water and I'm going to get that in there. Um, I like to also use a spray bottle. I can't find mine at the moment. That's why I'm using just a bottle of water like this, but a, a spray bottle works really well. And Magnolia Design Company has just came out with a fine mist sprayer, um, which I have ordered. It just has not arrived yet. So I can't wait to be showing that um, off to you. And just that little bit of water and see the difference. Um, maybe you can't. But um, I like my paste to just kind of drip a little bit. Um, I don't like it real thin. The thinner it is, the more chances you have it to bleed. Um, and the thicker, just the harder it is to, to spread. So I am just going to get that all stirred up. And that's about right where I want it. Hey, Lily. What? You want to come say hi? Come here. Come here. Okay, she doesn't. She comes in and she's pawing at me, but then she decides not to. Hi, Annette. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time catching a live video, if you would comment with a number one. And if you have caught us live before, if you would comment with a number two. For those of you that are just coming in, um, just so I can see um, who our newbies are. All right, and our white is all ready to go. A uh, little bit wider spray. You can take shower with that thing. Now we have both of our chalk paste stirred up to the consistency that we want them. Like I said, I like my consistency to be just about frosting in a can when you um, stir it all up. Um, I don't like it real thin, don't like it real thick. Um, but as you work with the, the chalk paste, you will get to your, um, your liking of how you like your paste. Um, and you will see how different things you know how easy it is to, for the chalk paste to be spread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a marble effect. So I'm going to take some of our red paste and I'm just going to dab it all over the stencil. No rhyme or reason. Um, this is one of my favorite techniques. It's also called the messy method or the messy technique. Um, I just I totally love this. Okay, now I'm gonna take some white 
and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm not going to put a whole lot of paste down because with most of our projects, if you're using one color, you can squeegee up the excess and put it back into the jar. Um, with a project like this, you're not going to be able to because you're mixing colors. All right. All right. So now I think I've got this all done. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy little um, squeegee here. And I'm gonna just start from the top and I'm gonna make sure that all of our silk screened areas are covered. And I'm just going over this, making sure that all of our silk screened areas are covered. And actually I'm going to squeegee this off just so that it doesn't get muddy and I do want some more um, white areas because I'm not seeing too many of them. All right, and now that I have this all done, I'm going to clean off my squeegee here and then I'm going to go back through and just pull up the rest of this chalk paste. I'm going to be very careful not to spread a lot of the chalk paste because I'm liking the colors that are in it. Etsy store is two now, right? Yes, and it's foxychickdesigns.etsy.com. All right, now that we're done, I'm and I'm going to uh oh. Uh, oh, I froze. Are you guys still with me? Okay, I froze. Are you guys all here? I am so sorry. Okay. So, now that I have this all stenciled, I'm going to work my way up being very gentle with peeling up this stencil and ta-da there we go all right so then I'm gonna set that aside and I will throw that in some warm water and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heat set this just so that it's dry. Oh, good, Annette. Thank you. Sorry about the... My, for some strange reason, my internet connection keeps being all crazy. And it seems to want to be crazy when I'm going live. All right. dry the top here because there's still wet paint from when I painted black. Alright, so now we're just using the heat tool and running over the chalk paste because the chalk paste goes on like a paint, but then it dries hard. And if you're using an actual chalkboard, uh, hi Kim, is it Kimbrel? Welcome. All right, I think all of this is now dry. I'm just making sure we're up around the edges here. So that I'm not getting black paint everywhere. Okay. Now 
that is all dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close up my paste. So I'm just squeezing off the excess of my um, stir stick. Just going to go ahead and put the lid back on this one. Um, on my red, the white gets fairly, like it stays, you know, pretty well mixed in. Um, some of the other colors don't. So what I'm going to do is before I close up my red, I'm going to put just a tad little bit of water in there. Just a tad little bit. And then I'm going to put the lid on it. And that way when I go to mix it up the next time, um, it won't take so much to... Um, to start in. Hi Tammy, welcome. So now I'll set those off. I'm going to just blow off all the white little fragments from putting my lid on. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my little hanger back in here. that right back through there and there's that and we're gonna do a cute little bow for on here so I'm gonna sit our little heart aside and I'm going to grab some different ribbons that I have here on my desk let me grab my scissors uh, here they are cute little scissors here and we're just gonna cut a couple ribbons here. And I got all of these ribbons. Where's your red ink? No, my red was not the ink. It was paste, Deb. My red, um, my my red paste is some of the leftover that had the white lids um, instead of the black lids. Because um, when I started, um, some of the paste, they were just starting to have all of the paste have black lids. So it does. It, it looks like it could be um, an ink, but it is not. All right, so I've got that, and I have a little bit of this silvery stuff that I've used before. So we're going to use that as a base, and then I'm just going to crisscross these like so. Yes, the, the white top is how they used to all be. Yeah, so that's, that is why that is. Okay, I have some twine around here somewhere. Aha, here it is, handy dandy twine. Always a, something that you always want to have on your desk. Okay, so I'm gonna just snip me a cute little piece there and I'm gonna try to kind of just squeeze this all together and I'm going to actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna tie it up here to the front first and you want to just grab it and tie as tight as you can because you can fix all of that later. So now that I've got one side tied, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to double knot it. Like so. Just like. Sometimes the nails get in the way. Okay. Now that I have that like that, then I'm going to go back over to this front part and get this all 
worked out here. And I'm going to cut some of this stuff off because I don't need all of that. And I got this silvery stuff at the dollar store as well, at the Dollar Tree. Amazing finds, which you can find at the Dollar Tree, y'all. And so then I'm just, just pulling at the ribbons, trying to get them to where they all can be seen. And then what I'm going to do is normally I would hot glue this guy on. But I think what I'm going to do for this guy is I just want to tie this to the um, hanger here. And I think I still have wet paint because we will see. So I'm going to just go ahead and tie this on and I'm going to double knot it just so it stays. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that twine just kind of hang. And we're just going to, uh, I don't know. I think I might just have to hot glue this little guy. But I'm going to pull out a wipe here. I think I have some wet paint up here. Yep. That's exactly what I got. I had a big glob of it and I just wanted to get it off before it got on me. Okay. So there. Um, you know what? Actually, I am going to plug in my hot glue gun and I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue underneath this bow um, just so it stays. I thought it might stay with just being tied to the top, but I see that is not the case. So I am going to... <coughs> after I sneeze. Um, I'm going to just plug in my hot glue gun quick and I'm going to put a nice little um, dab of hot glue underneath here just so this stays because um, I, I don't want it to you know move around to the other side. Um, can you guys hear me okay? So I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up just so I can put a small little dab of hot glue underneath this bow and then our project will be done for tonight. So Thursday night, um, I will, I'm going to do a, a little vote here. Thursday night, should I do one last Valentine project before Valentine's Day on Sunday or would you like me to move on to another type of DIY craft. It will be something that has, you know, Magnolia, Magnolia Design products are always in my creations. Um, I am an innovator with Magnolia Design Company and um, so I use their stencils and their paste um, in, in all of my, my DIY crafting. Um, if you are interested in um, taking a look at what Magnolia Design Company has to offer, my website is tagged in the comments here, and you are more than welcome to just go over there and take a look and see. Um... <laughs> One more and you can expect company. Oh boy. Um, you can just take a look, um, no pressure you know, to buy or anything like that. But if you just want to see what Magnolia Design Company has to offer and once you want to see the different stencils that um, our company produces, then you can head over to um, foxychickdesigns.magnoliadesignco.com and um, click on the catalog and you can just kind of scroll through there and see um, 
the different stencils that we have as well as the colors of paste. We have a chalk paste which can be used on chalkboards, anything that you're not going to wash. So chalkboards, wood, um, surfaces like this, um, pizza pans, um, what are they called? Canvas, like painter's canvas. Um, all of that would be used with the chalk paste. Then we also have a permanent ink that can be used on anything that you're going to wash. So it would be tea towels, um, t-shirts, onesies, socks, anything fabric like that. Um, thanks, Deb. You're awesome. I appreciate that very much for tagging my, my website there. Thank you so much. Um, so... The, that's the difference between the paste and the ink. Okay, so my hot glue gun is ready. So I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue there. And I'm going to push this little guy down. And actually, I'm going to grab my little finger protector here from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to stick this guy down because I just want to make sure that he gets stuck without burning my fingers. Yes, we just had a big spring release and so there are new stencils available um, on the website. I would love for you guys to go over and check them out. And if you're over there on the website and you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can comment here on this post or um, you can reach out to me through email or just on Facebook in general. And I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. So anyhow, this is our amazing project for tonight. So it's just a cute little XOXO sign. Um, took a Dollar Tree surface and repurposed it with some paint and um, some magnolia goodness with our XOXO y'all stencil and some red and white chalk paste. So I appreciate you guys crafting with me tonight. I'm going to pull you guys back up here to me um, for a moment. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for hopping on and crafting with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you enjoy what you saw. Um, if you have any questions about Magnolia Design Company or what I do, um, or if you're interested in um, just learning more about the company, um, it's amazing. And it's in an amazing opportunity um, to make some extra cash, some a side business, or even if you're a hobbyist or a crafter and you just want a really good discount, um, as a creator, you get a 35% discount um, off of all of your um, products and supplies. So if that's something that you are even considering or you just have some questions, I totally get it. I had a ton of questions when I first started. So if you have any questions, if you would just comment kit um, in the... Um, if you'll comment kit in the comments and I can reach out to you um, and answer any questions that you may have. Okay, dear Easter Bunny, please bring me a basket full. Okay, are you asking for a basket full of the spring releases, Deb? Hey, Miss Cynthia, welcome. You're just catching at the tail end. We just finished our cute little project for tonight. Um, and it was a little heart sign that says XOXO, y'all. And that is the final project for tonight. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope that you will join me again on Thursday night at 7 o'clock for another fun DIY project using some Magnolia Design Company stencils and chalk paste. And it is still up for grabs. If we're going to do, you guys get to vote um, if you guys want to see another valentine project one last valentine project before valentine's day on sunday or if you would like a different project if you'd like me to move on to a different um either season or holiday um 
I will let it up to you guys. So if you'll comment um, here on this particular post, um, what you'd like to see on Thursday night, then I will see you guys right here on Thursday night at seven o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.